What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Don't forget to check out my website, ckwraps.com. I'll put a link up in the top corner for you. Now, I'm gonna be demoing some film, various films here. Some purchased from eBay, AliExpress, Alibaba, and so on. I also have some Vivid and I have some 3M. As you can see, everything here is almost the same, okay? We've got some yellow and green, mostly green, and we've got some carbon fiber from these different manufacturers. What you can get with some no-name stuff, you can get some pretty cool finishes. Like I, didn't even, I never even knew this existed, but this is like, it's almost like sandpaper. Really interesting. Um, film is kind of thick. Um, it's got a square style air release. You can see all that. Okay, so what we're gonna notice right off the bat also is that we've got no markings, no branding, no nothing, okay? Just no name. These are purchased from various places, but they sell them as different, they sell them as different brands, but they sell them as, um, it's all the same thing pretty much in the end. So I'm gonna cut off a strip of this actually. Take this. I'm gonna put it here. Now the main thing that I want to talk about here is the the difference in it's okay difference in adhesives and things like that adhesive styles adhesive strengths um, stretching finishes all sort of stuff that kind of comes along when you're when you're buying wrap. Um, there are different things and characteristics that come into play when it comes to your decision on purchasing a product, especially a wrap. Some are built, throw on the floor. Some are built differently, okay? Adhesive strengths and things like that, like I mean, like what I can see already through this, it's pretty interesting actually, is if you can see the banding, do you see the it looks like it looks like wood grain almost. You can see that shadow through there. The lines running up and down all over, just basically up and down. Now I don't know if the other one has it. Let's check it out. It should but it's from two different places. But same film, okay, this one has it too. This is what we call banding, or what I call banding. That's the more technical term for it. It's heavier lines when they go to print it, or make the color itself. I'm gonna take this to get to the car, hopefully it doesn't ruin my wrap, because this car is wrapped right now. We've got some vivid, similar color, just doesn't have a textured finish. This is a textured finish. Okay. It's like a matte metallic green. And I'm going to show you their adhesive as well. It's going to be different. That one. Gray backing. And we have a hexagon style pattern to the adhesive. You can actually see it on the release liner too slightly, in the glare maybe. So to make sure you capture that. Mm -hmm. Initial tack, much lower than these other guys right here. Let's stick that down there. Let's grab, I think this is, yep, this is not Vivid, this is 3M. This just has a piece of Vivid tape on it. Now we've got 3M, 1080. Again, in style and finish, close, but not quite the same. This is more like your matte green. This is more like a matte metallic, so it's got a bit of a sheen to it. Personal preference when it comes to color all the way through, guys. I'm not here to suggest what color you like more. If you like that sparkly stuff over there that has the sandpaper texture to it, cool. Okay, let's check out 3M's backing. Gray-ish and it's very, very hard to see their air release pattern. Almost doesn't even look existent, but it is, it's there. They're just really tiny. Take some of that off. I'll stick it to the hood. What I wanna do is kinda of play around with these a little bit and show you what they're like. We're gonna take it, we're gonna heat it, we're gonna stretch it. And I'm just gonna let it initially sit there like that too. So I'm gonna peel off the rest. Let it sit there, see what initial tack is like. To give you some idea. 
can't even. So I've, I've installed Chinese film, or no name film, it is Chinese film, um, a long time ago. And my experience with it was pretty, pretty bad. The film was super sticky. It, it basically bonded to the hood and I couldn't move it. So like, I thought I was gonna rip the whole hood off when I went to go reposition it. This, on the other hand, feels a little bit different. It does feel like it's not sticking too much. Could be a good and a bad thing. We don't want it, we don't want it to stick too little, but we do want it to stick. So air release, not working so great. Okay, those, those are just not coming out. If I push down on them, sure, they'll come out. But the initial approach to actually squeegeeing it, it's not really working very well. And you can see, look, it's kind of like rolling through, like it's like water almost. I don't think I like this very much because it's me that feels like the, fill, the adhesive is sliding. It's not grabbing enough. So bond wise, it's okay. Let's get it a little flatter here. Now it makes a totally different sound when you're lifting it. You can hear that right off the bat. We just kind of let it sit there and let's just see what it's like when we squeegee it. Okay, air release is working better. Got a wrinkle there, can't squeegee that. But the air release is working better than the other one. So I can squeegee over a lot of it, right? This one, I'm just getting a bubble stuck like that for no reason. I'm squeegeeing it down all these. This is gonna make it very difficult to install. You know, Vivid's air release works. It works pretty well, but it doesn't work as good as some other brands out there. But it does have air release. This, on the other hand, is gonna give you a lot more problems. We'll try the end piece in, in afterwards because I feel like it's almost the same as the one I just did. Okay, here's 3M. We're at, uh, not much tack actually at all because it has control tack. So it doesn't stick until we actually push it down. Let's see what it's like squeegeeing it. It's gonna work very well because it is a slidable film. Okay, this means that we can take the film and slide it across the surface. Tack, feels good. Nice and strong, vivid. Feels good, nice and strong. Okay. Again, yeah, squeegees down nicely. This one squeegees down nicely. Other one doesn't. Let's get rid of this piece right here and move on to the other piece. See if it's the same. I feel like it's the same thing. But these are your AliExpress and eBay vinyls. I'm even just getting weird bubbles like that. Let's try and put it flat. Yeah, see, I'm just getting bubbles like that. I am pushing, don't get me wrong, I'm pushing. So, very much similar characteristic, and it feels like it, the air bubble kind of slides through the film. Will they go away? Of course they'll go away if I give it enough time. Usually, that one doesn't want to go away. <laughs> no, that one doesn't want to go away at all. So we're, we're sitting here poking out all these air bubbles all the time. That's just too much work. Let's grab a bit of heat, stretch them out, and see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push them a bit here, okay? So, feels nice and stretchy, feels good, but mostly everything does when you add heat. Got a little discoloring around here, it gets a little patchy. That's what I noticed. The comparison in this is not really so fair because we're getting into metallic and then really heavy metallic. I'm just giving you a one-on-one -on, -one on what I'm feeling here. So 3M might not change as much as these guys do when it comes to this bit of overstretching or pushing it a little bit too far. Okay, feels nice and flimsy. It's got good pull. Feels good. For sure, I'm going to see a line right here of where I overstretched right there. We've got the metallic particle in the film. Let's check out this guy here. I'm, I'm interested to see what this, this is gonna do. It's already textured and it's already matte, so let's see what happens. I think it feels nice and pliable. It's kind of different down here. I do see a transition. 
but not to me the transition doesn't show as much as this transition does again i could have stretched a little bit more here or whatever but the, the finishes are different from each one of these take these off rigidness this is like pretty rigid stuff i didn't know that was gonna happen um so it's yeah i mean it's breaking pretty easily <laughs> i don't i'm gonna try that with the other ones okay this is i'm not pulling that hard guys at all i'll try i'll try the end that's not broken how about that let's see because it might be oh it's still breaking okay this is pretty oh, i gotta pull hard there yeah it's interesting see if it will do it. it feels a little thinner um It's not breaking just like that. So as far as handling goes, probably get away with a little bit more force. There we go. I knew I could make it happen. It's only vinyl, guys. So breaking a lot differently. It's not like it's kind of stretching and not tearing into shards. Like this tears into shards. While this, you can see it's not really tearing into shards. It's a bit different and it's in the way it's happening. Yeah, different finals, right? Look, you can see how it's all just really torn. This is sort of stretched along that tear line. Try a couple more. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not the same thing. It feels totally different. Handling in the end is gonna be a lot different. Let's try 3M. Feels about the same thickness as Vivid, maybe slightly thinner. There is a spec there somewhere for that. It's holding up. It's holding up really well. A little more, again, a little more give, a little more pliability when it is ripping. Yep, it's holding up a lot better. If you find, yeah, if you kind of find the spot it does tear, but it, it's a different kind of tear again than than these guys here. Then sorry, than the no name stuff. More more along the lines of the way Vivid is tearing. They kind of look the same in how this is in how this is responding here. That just looks like a shattered piece of glass. So I th I feel like that's going to be very difficult, especially in cooler temperatures when we're sitting around 80 plus in here today, around 23, 24 degrees Celsius. 25 even whatever uh somewhere on 85 plus it's hot and film should not be breaking or cracking like this at all it should be more easy to install again kind of you get you're gonna get what you're gonna pay for i'm gonna do a whole separate video demoing the carbon fibers i did want to show you what this was like as far as these finishes go and these colors go and i'll even hit up those yellows also for another video just to show you how they're gonna respond all of these are going to respond a little bit differently. You know, carbon fiber has a grain, has a, has a weave to it, which means you can actually tear it really easily along that weave. So all of them will probably tear really easily. You know, these, when we look at the finishes of these, these are probably more like your 5D carbon 40, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I don't even know what these names mean, but you know, 4D carbon fibers, they got a nice satiny finish to it. They look a little weird to me, you know, I'm not really a huge fan. We can put Vivid's flat up beside it. You can see the huge difference in the actual texture of the pattern. Like this looks way more legit and this looks like it's sort of printed on and not so much textured. It feels textured though. And then we have 3M, it's, again, it's darker, but looks a lot more along the lines of Vivid. Just to kind of show you that. I'm gonna do a test on the stretching and the heating and the adhesive and all that sort of thing with these guys but I'm going to save that for a separate video for you guys. If you guys thought this video was informative and helpful, don't forget, to, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see some more videos, don't forget the subscribe button. Again, thank you for watching very much. Take care.